Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't want to pay for those tanks that will uh, be sent to Ukraine by the United States of America. I don't want to. Well, too bad, Emil. <laughs> you have no say in it. Well, I don't want to pay for those uh, billions of dollars that are sent to Ukraine either. Well, too bad, Emil. Uh, you will. Uh, you have no say in this. Well, this is how democracy works, okay? Um, you vote one time and you give uh, imperium, or at least you give authority to some people who maybe they lied when you uh, uh, voted for them. You don't know at that point. They promised you this, they promised you that. Maybe you are um, outvoted and the other candidate wins. Once he or she gets in, does whatever they want for about four years and you have no say. Work within a system, that means you're going to vote them out in four years, five years, six years, depends on how uh, long is their term. This democracy sounds great to you, not to me. A lot of things could be changed. Now, what's going on here? I have this article here from Ukrainska Pravda, which is an uh, Ukrainian media outlet, obviously. It's from today, Wednesday, the 25th of January 2023, United States to send 31 Abrams tanks worth 400 million dollars to Ukraine. Did you hear? 400 million dollars to Ukraine. I don't want that. Who's gonna pay for it? Who's gonna pay for the um, replenishing those? Because you give them from somewhere and then you're gonna say, well, we're short on tanks. We need more money to the military budget. Who's gonna pay? Who takes, who's gonna cough, cough up the money? the taxes. I will and my fellow citizens, some of whom are okay with that. Well, I'm not. Well, too bad, Emil. That's the will of the majority. So what if tomorrow these guys decide that people with brown eyes should work for the people with blue eyes? Too bad, Emil. That's the majority voted. Right? <coughs> no, that's not right. That's the first article. Let's go to the next article, which will tell us a little bit other weasels, because we are not the only ones, okay? The other weasels are Germany. So this article comes to the new, vo new voice of Ukraine from January 25, 2023. Germany officially approves supply of 14 Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. Believe me, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. After they are delivered, guess what Zelensky and his Weasels are instructed to do. They will ask for more. Remember, another other idiots here are the ones here in the last uh, paragraph right here, at least sentence. UK Prime Minister Rishi Maharishi Sunak earlier promised to transfer 14 Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine. Hello, my British friends. I'm glad you're in deep doo-doo as I am, making the United Kingdom the first Western country to supply heavy tanks to Ukrainian armed forces. Hey, if you think you're the only ones, then you are mistaken. I got other weasels here. All right, let's see who are the next ones. The next ones are these guys that I'm going to put right now on the Screen. Hey, can you see what's going on here from Ukraine form? Morocco, from Morocco, Moroccan army sends upgraded T-72B tanks to Ukraine. Ukraine media says, Ukraine form. What's the date down there? 23rd of January 2023. The Moroccan army has supplied Ukraine with about 20 T-72B tanks that were modernized at the Escalibur army workshops in the Czech Republic. Great, great. In total, the Moroccan army has 148 T-72s, 136 T-72Bs and 12 T-72BKs purchased from Belarus in two batches in 1999 and 2000 to counter the Algerian armored division. So you tell me what's going on here, my friends. So, if you think that I'm happy that I'm in deep doo-doo together with some other friends, you are definitely mistaken. You are def Who's paying for that? Remember, the French will send tanks. I don't have to start with the list. Finland, Norway, uh, Slovakia, I think, not, I, I know Slovenia already sent 80. Poland sent, I think, the little Baltic states with their uh, 
the 5 million population all together, the three states, three, con three countries, they send it to. And there are some other weasels that keep their mouth shut. Right? So these are the guys. <clears throat> Why do I have to pay for that, for the $400 million tanks that will be sent to Ukraine in the first batch? Remember, the, my uh, mountain slope model. They start little. Remember, I don't know, 10 months ago, nine months ago, eight months ago? No, there will no there will be no tanks, no tanks, no airplanes, no howitzers, no uh, high mars, no uh, defense air defense systems in Ukraine, short, long or medium range. No, no, no. They are and will be there. I uh, I don't know, I'm 99% certain. Why? Because I've seen this pattern before. I've seen this behavior before and I knew it happened. I've been talking about this since, I don't know, March. The Ukrainian uh, uh, territory will receive everything they want from, uh, not they want, they're told to by the guys over there. Do you think that Zelensky is the one over there who says, yeah, I want tanks? Huh? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think that Zelensky is just saying, guys, you need to give me this, you need to give me that. He knows what he needs to say because he knows the big daddy will bring everybody by the balls or balls or no balls and they will have delivered whatever they ask. They're talking about sending airplanes, fighter jets. They will send them. I guarantee you, will guarantee you, all right? Guarantee you. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, if you do something to someone else or you spend your money however you want to spend them, that's not, not, none of my business. But when you spend part of my money over there without asking me, I don't like that. I don't like, and I'm pretty sure you don't like that either. We don't like it either. And this is how democracy works. Mass democracy. Something is very, very wrong, or at least it got to this point where it's very, very wrong. Tomorrow, let's say, let's say the United States of America, but you can put any country in this, any country, any free democratic country. Put Great Britain, put Germany in this. And let's say tomorrow your elected officials, your leaders, as I say, they're over there to represent you. They're over there to do the job for you. They're your employees. Do not forget that. Let's say tomorrow this guy said, well, we're going to send, uh, not Ukraine, I don't know, Zimbabwe, my friends. We're going to send them $500 billion. What can you do? Nothing. What are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Do you think that these guys who decided to give, let's say, Zimbabwe $400 billion, b -b -b billion, all right, or, I don't know, $100 billion the first uh, batch, $100 billion in the next week and $100 billion in the other week. How do you think, though, I mean, how these guys make the decisions? Where do they get the money? Do they have the money? Imagine there are people over there, like you and I, even, uh, you know, more, more uh, slimy. They are over there. They take your money. How can these little people over there, you know, be allowed to have this much authority and screw us up like that? This is what bothers me, among others, but uh, this is the problem at hands here. Or hand, but anyway, like, I don't know, one hand. Anyway, it's, uh, how can these guys be allowed to do that? And this is just a test. This is just a test. More things will come. If these guys were able to send us and give us mandates on certain issues, this is just a test, you know. As someone said, you know, you, there's no rights, you know, you have privileges, temporary privileges. These are not, not right, because a right you will always have. And the right, remember, a right is not given by this weasel, by the governments. No, supposedly, no, they're inherently coming from the creator. So someone else, it's something abstract that we have them by abstract. As you say, well, each life has value. Well, it seems like these guys can decide whenever they want if life, each life has value or not. Because they can take your rights and liberties whenever the circumstances they determine, um, uh, you know, allow them to do that. Now, that means you don't have a right. If you have a right today, but you don't have tomorrow, and again, you have it the next day, that's not a right. That's a privilege that is temporary, given to you and taken away from you, from your equal. Those people are your equals. You understand that? They're not your leaders. They are elected officials. They are elected people to do your job, your bidding, your job. 
And remember, even if in a democracy where you have the majority rule, you have 51-41. Think about the president. You have 51-41. Usually that, that's the balance between uh, here. Uh, it's, <clears throat> this is a very strange uh, arrangement in this country, United States of America, the uh, freedom and democracy BS. You have 51-49, which is another mathematical uh, probability, impossibility here, to have only two options in this world, good and bad, and they're kind of the same, you know? How, how does you know the third option? The fourth, the fifth, or there is, but they can't even get up. So imagine you have 51-41. So 51 will make 49, right? 51 will make 49 do their bullshit. And vice versa, when the other ones win. What is that? So half of the, of the society is unhappy. Always. Half. It's like you have a wife, and you, you make decisions every time based on I, I win this time, and let, we go to the movies. I hate going to the movies. I want to go to the movies. Okay, we go to the movies. She hated it, and I'm going over there, and she said, okay, now I want to go to a museum. I hate going to a museum, but she goes, we're going to be like this all the time. In a family where one of us will always be unhappy, and the other one will be happy. You just switch roles. You rarely are together in something. And I'm not talking about the politicians, about the population. How is that, how is that family going to function? How the resentment is going to grow? What will eventually happen, do you think? What do you think is going to happen? You know, in a family matters, if something like this goes further and further, some of us will divorce. That's what's going to happen in a family. And these guys spend our money, our children's money, our children's children's money. That's what's going to be. And then you got inflation, print some more money, and we send 400 million. It's not a lot, 400, because now you're already ready with that. And that's what, 31 tanks. They're going to be more. High Mars they're going to send. More. Patriot systems. Remember, I think already, like, I, I can remember how many billions they sent. One cent is already too much without asking me. One cent. And right now it's tens of billions sent as aid to Ukraine. I disagree with that. I want to be asked. To ask if I want to send or not. Not, not de democratically. Like they, they get our taxes and they do all kinds of uh, programs in the society. You don't even know where your money goes. You don't even know. If you would know, you would go over there and you would uh, discuss with your elected officials, with your leaders. You don't even know where your taxes go. There's so, in some programs, I know for a fact, in some programs that if you would hear what's going on with your taxes, you would be very angry because your children's do, children do not get the same treatment as other, others get through the, through the uh, social programs. I know as for a fact. All right? So, no, no, no. I worked in that kind of uh, area. I know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, again, but people don't know. They just get taxed and say, yeah, it's for the roads. It's for who builds your roads, who maintains your lights, the street lights, who is uh, the police. That's bull. You know how much money goes to schools, school of choice? You pay for the school with your taxes and they get other people to go to the school that you pay for. Why? Because you have more money? Why? Because you calculated it better? Because you uh, uh, postpone gratification? Planned better? Is that, why would they charge the people who are doing something? Because they can. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.